not wait for First, me. I'm going to you it to record me getting bit. Okay. I'm setting in this video now and I just want to throw a couple things out there. One is going to be a disclaimer before we go into the snake room. But also, uh, yeah, we're just checking out stuff outside, seeing what we can't find. The man-child wrangling the huge Burmese python is coming up, but stick around. I know someday we could find a baby. I know someday we could find a Guys, I know it's Thanksgiving Day for a lot of you guys watching. We we do celebrate Thanksgiving. It's not Thanksgiving for us today. Uh, I was gonna make this one video that was hopefully not gonna be cheesy. I was just gonna like give thanks to every single person I've met through this community, and uh, I was gonna do it when it wasn't Thanksgiving Day, just because I didn't want to be cheesy and just do it on Thanksgiving Day. And I contemplated it, and I was like, man, it's a lot of people. I was going to try and make a video and, like, do a little quick segment with every single person that I've met and talked to in person and even have a video of. And it was going to be a lot of people. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to say thank you to everybody for following along and uh, having fun with us and enjoying the videos and commenting and participating and meeting at the shows and doing all the cool stuff that you guys do. Uh, thank you. What are we hoping to do here, Mr. Boy? Find animals. I asked Noah. Don't move. The wild hammer is right next to a wild not eyedropper. That. What have you guys been doing over here, man? I saw something jump. Maybe it was just you kissing me. Ocean. 17 miles that way. Maybe we should go to the ocean. You think? Wait, which ocean? Any ocean. But which ocean is 17 miles that way? Oh, uh, the Pacific. The Pacific Ocean. It's a very specific ocean. It's it's the Pacific, specifically. Daddy, it's not cold at all. You don't think it's cold at all out here? No. I think you're talking crazy face in the pants. What does that one say? This one says Tisdale's, 237 miles. We're going there in a couple of days for Thanksgiving. It's over that way. Yeah, whatever. Leave a comment down below. What's your guys' Thanksgiving tradition? Do you have a tradition? Do you go spend it with family? Just eat some food or make a pasta? I mean, what do you do? What do you do? Leave a comment down below. I'm, I'm curious to know what you guys do on Thanksgiving Day. Look, Hawaii is 2,040... What? Or... What does that say? Hawaii something miles. Can you read it? Um, I don't know what the number is. It says Hawaii something miles. Yeah, well, read the numbers. Two, four, four, five. So, what's that? Two hundred and... Do you think it's two hundred? Two thousand and forty-five. I feel like you're missing a four there. Two thousand... 445. Mm -hmm. Nailed it. What you doing up there, Eli? You gonna try to find some uh, stuff with us or what? Hey, look away. Look away, what are you doing? Pee. Oh, you gonna pee on a tree? Pee, pee, pee on the tree. Ah. Uh. Eli, we're looking for creatures. Well, Daddy, what creature do you want to find first? Uh, well, whatever one we can find. Oh, yeah. Obviously. There's some bees up there, but I bet we don't want to find out. What about stuff down there? Yeah, we can check down there. Like the ninja skills, I think I'm starting to feel better already. You know, Noah, it's a little cool out here. I, I feel like we're probably gonna be pretty hard pressed to find any reptiles, you think? It doesn't have to be a reptile. Good point, it doesn't have to be a reptile. Daddy, 
find hammer. So, so far all we've found is two hammers. Hey, Noah. What? What do you know? I know. Centipedes. What about centipedes? That they are venomous. They're not dangerous, they're only painful. And they have a bunch of legs and they're closely related to a millipede and the giant tiger centipedes can get really big. And that's it. And they can be lots of colors and that's all I know. Hey Eli. What? What? But first you one. what? But first one thing. You can look around this rock. Hey Eli. What? What? Do you know? I know. Goliath tarantulas. Goliath tarantulas? Yeah. What about Goliath tarantulas? That if anything, that if they see something moving, they'll bite it, they'll, they'll eat it with its fangs, and there's a venom in the tarantula's fangs and the tarantula and there's a female tarantula and a male tarantula that's all i know okay, and stick fight <laughs> what's up bud if we don't find anything in 13 more um minutes or how about like yeah 13 more minutes then let's go inside and hold some animals. All right, if we don't find anything out here, we're gonna go inside and hold some animals. But I've been, I've been pretty happy about the way the light is out here. What do you guys think I about this light you, today? Oh. What is it, Daddy? I'm just sore, bud. Oh. Then go up that way. <laughs> Uh, not very many. Let's go look at the big log underneath. We will, my guy. Or a blueberry. All right, we're to inform Eli that if we find an alligator lizard or a blueberry, he needs to know about it. But he's going to hold the fort up there while we go and check out our... I highly doubt that we're going to find a blueberry. Oh, maybe he meant blue belly, you think? Oh, yeah. Daddy, remember that time when we lifted up that log and we found two alligator lizards? Yep, keep, we keep chasing that dragon. Here we go, big log. What's up? Even if we find creatures, we can steal whole <sighs> animals. Yeah. Thing with a little ant. Yep. Oh, all right, I think that's enough physical stress on the body for the day. Let's go, boy. All right, before we go in and let Noah handle the big ass snake, that guy right there, I just want to throw a quick disclaimer out just for people that don't understand what's going on here. I've worked with this snake for about five years, maybe a little less, going, coming up on five years here, so I know the snake very well. As a parent, I think it's very important to assess risk when allowing your children to do certain things. Uh, you, there's the one side of the spectrum where you don't let them do anything and the other side of the spectrum where you let them do completely unsafe and irresponsible things. This one th I think falls somewhere in the middle. Is there risk involved? Sure. Is there risk involved in allowing your kid to play baseball? Yes. They could get smashed in the face by an errant pinch. Soccer. They could get kicked in the face by a cleat when they fall down. These are all risks that we assess as parents and we try to choose best so that our kids can learn how to deal with life and make let them kind of make their own decisions and in this case I push him a little bit just to get him past his comfort zone because I am very confident in what the outcome is going to be 
So if I wasn't confident, I would I would back off. But I just want to throw it out there for those of you that don't understand what's happening here. And if you're on the side of the fence, we're like, you should just don't try to tell me how to raise my kids, please. First, I want you to record me getting bit. Okay. <laughs> Did you see that? Now you saw me get bit by him. Oh, Roxanne's sleeping. Roxanne's a sleepy girl. Hi, Roxanne. Hey, Daddy, do we have two Roxannes? We do. Which one is another Roxanne? The Burmese python. And the, the other Roxanne is a I don't hold Halo. You want to hold Halo? Yeah. I can't get her out right now, but we need to call Jalen over for that. I, I can't reach high above overhead like that. Um, you, could hold, uh, you could hold Roxanne, our Burmese python. Sure. It's about the same size as Halo. Wait, is that Roxanne too? Yep. Well, she's angry at you, Daddy. She good. She just talks a lot. Mm. Mm. I don't want this bit. She's a talker. Yeah, she's a talker. Are you, you want, sure you it's not a woman? Sure. You can't be afraid. You just have to go up and touch her. You can't be afraid of that. No, it. I don't want to hurt her. You're not going to hurt her. I'm, go from the side. Move that bucket. I said I Move that bucket. Want her. I told you, she's just a talker. She's not going to hurt you. Move that bucket out of the way. See? No, you can't. If you move away. But, no, listen. Look at me. Look at me. If you back away like that, and you, you're just afraid, then that's the problem. You just, if you just look. You think, do you think if she's going to have a problem, she'd probably bite me, right? She's not gonna have a problem, you just gotta go in and grab her. Come get her from the front. She's coming up. Just get her, just grab her behind that. You're fine. Look, I, I promise you. I need to get over here where her head's not. Okay, there you go. Just right behind her. Quick, just go. Can't hesitate. Good. Pick up. She's not gonna get you, I promise. You have to trust me. Just grab her. She's scared. Yeah, a little bit. It's uh, a lot of snake, huh? Yeah. Don't worry. Don't worry about her face. I promise you. Uh, well, if she bites me, it's. She's not. Be she's not fault. gonna bite you, bro. Well, you never know until it happens. Well. No, I, I've been working this snake for a long time now. Oh, come uh -oh. on, come on, come over here quick. Daddy, it's almost night time. It's dawn right now. Good. Get up over your shoulder. She's going to back up. Yeah. <laughs> Try again. Okay, now's your chance. You're doing good. You're doing good. She's uh, about four years old now. Strong for a younger girl. If you, you're still getting her, the problem is you're getting her too close to the front, so she's gonna keep backing up. You kind of gotta get her towards the middle of her body. I know it's heavy. I mean, right. you're doing a great job. Like right here. Yeah, exactly. If you can get that uh -oh. over your shoulder, good. Well, you gotta work quickly. Uh -oh. Now just get that over your shoulder, so you can. <laughs> Sorry, right, just go up to the front there and a little bit more. Because she's been moving forward a little bit anyway, so. 
Yeah, get that over your shoulder, but once you get that coil over your shoulder, you're gonna have a lot easier time. She's strong. She's very strong. Yeah, you just gotta use your feet sometimes. You might have to move over here and make it happen. Uh oh. Well, come, come, come. Control. Daddy, you don't know how to cut me. Daddy, you don't know how to cut me. Okay, see, so you still have her a little too close to the front, so she's gonna back up on you and and just get away from you that way. But Daddy, right? I don't want to hold her. One more try, but come on, you're doing good. Right about here. Right about here is where you want her. One more right try, and if it doesn't work, then. So hurry, you gotta be fast. You, you take too long, so you're moving forward a little bit too much. Okay, go. Now let her crawl over the front of your shoulder. Just duck underneath her right there and let her crawl over your shoulder. Okay, watch. When she's crawling like this, just come sit in front of her. Like, come sit in front of her. Come here. Quick, 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 move. Sit in front. Oh, she's... You're okay. You're okay, Missy. Like, just get the, like get this and get get low. Get low. Get low. Like this? Yeah. Oh, what? Shoulder. Okay, well, stand up. Keep it over your shoulder. Don't let it into your arms. That's when it gets hard for you. You gotta have it over your shoulder. Makes it easier. There you go. That's doing good. That's doing good. Stay right there. She's a big, strong girl. You're not. Daddy, you're letting it slip off your shoulder. You gotta keep it over your shoulder, bud. Daddy, you gotta notice it. Not only is the heart. Okay, come on. Lift the rest of your body out. <laughs> you almost had her, bud. You almost had her. You gotta be quick and just get it over your shoulder. Good, 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 good. I got her. You're doing good, bud. That's a, that's a lot of snake for a guy your size. You want to say goodbye to everybody? Bye. <laughs> so for those of you that are new to the channel, every now and then I do a thing called the Cusco Uncut, and it's just like it sounds. It's just an uncut video. And when I feel like I have a subject that I'd like to talk about in some kind of depth or in, that I'm really feeling strongly about or whatever, sometimes it ends up being like a two-minute video, and I'll make it a segment of one of the vlogs. Or sometimes it'll end up being long enough for its own whole video. I can go ahead and say with pretty much 99% certainty this one's going to be its own whole video.